Hello ladies and gentlemen, God bless each and every one of you. I'm doing another video. It is Sunday afternoon. You know, when I came to church this morning, it was nice, warm, well, sort of. Some sun, some blue skies. I come out of church and it looks like it's going to snow. It's definitely gotten chillier and it's so cloudy and just dreary. It's amazing what a couple of hours can do. Wow. Um, I want to talk about Noah, and I want to talk about those times and why I believe we are seeing the same thing in Noah's time as we are in our time. As we know, the Bible says, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be with the second coming of the Son of Man, meaning in Noah's time, we're going to talk about that today and why I believe it is the same today in the 21st century, in the year 2022. We're going to talk about that and what God did and what I believe is going to happen to this planet, to us now, this time. Now, a little bit of backstory with Noah and what happened. We all know the story, but I'll just give some for it might not know it all. Um, Noah was a very good man. Um, Noah was living in a time of corruption, was living in a time of wickedness, where men's hearts were evil, where people, I'm sure, killed, I'm sure they pillaged, raped, murdered, just did every vile thing under the sun. And God came to Noah and asked him to build an ark. Noah, being a good, faithful servant that he was, he began building that ark. And of course, as he started and progressed, he was made fun of. He was mocked. I'm sure people would come and just sit along the, I can almost picture in my mind, they sitting on the side of a hill or whatnot, laughing and maybe even tossing a rock or two at him, making jokes at his, at his, uh, about him and his family and this monstrosity, I'm sure they thought that he was building this massive, massive boat but Noah stayed true to the Lord stayed true to God Almighty and he did what God asked him to do now at that time the earth and I mean the earth the planet earth was in a time of turmoil was in a time of wickedness where men's hearts were corrupt where wicked wickedness ruled the day corruption ruled the day the sword ruled the day god looked down upon this earth and realized how corrupt and evil man had become how ungodly ungodlike they had become how heathenistic how rebellious man had become worshiping a myriad of other gods instead of the one that created them and the earth that they call home and the stars that they see at night and the sun that gives them light in the daytime. Instead of worshiping the God, the one true God, they worship just about anything you can imagine. Pagans. God had reached a point where he had said enough. The earth had become so wicked and vile and so corrupt. God said enough. And he gave Moses or he gave Noah, I'm sorry, a or he gave Noah directions to build this ark. And so he did. And upon completing it, he had told Noah to take two of every animal upon this earth. And Noah listened. 
and God told Noah to gather up his family. The time had come, and Noah listened, and they all proceeded into the ark as I'm sure the rains began to fall. And still men laughed, and still men mocked, I'm sure. And then God sealed that door. God shut that door. No man, no wicked, evil man was going to enter into that ark because God seemed fit to that by shutting the door. God shut the door on the ark. And of course, the Lord flooded the entire earth, killing every living thing that walketh, crawleth, flieth upon the earth. God obliterated it. That is how corrupt mankind had become to the point that even God, our creator of the heavens, the earth, the alpha, the omega, had had enough. Even God had had enough. And he wiped this earth clean. And Noah and his family were taken care of on the ark. They had what they needed. And they floated for 40 days and 40 nights until the waters began to recede. And God's anger receded. And God vowed to never flood the earth again, to never flood and destroy the entire earth again. And he has not done that. And he will not do that. But now we move forward to our time the year 2022 and we see the same things we see men's heart full of wickedness full of evil we see our government so corrupt that it's to the point that we don't even know if our vote even counts anymore I mean we don't even know if it's even worth going and voting someone recently said that we don't elect they select and I found that very, I found that very telling, meaning we the people don't elect anymore. The elites in Washington select who is going to lead this country. And I truly believe that we're at that point. Our government is absolutely, ladies and gentlemen, very corrupt. Our judicial system is so far off of what would be called justice anymore. There's no justice in our and our judicial system. Not at all. Not at all. We, we have become a world of perversion. We have become a world of abomination where we now praise things that the Bible calls an abomination. We hold them up as if there's some wonderful thing to be heralded, some wonderful thing to be applauded, when God calls it an abomination. Men's hearts are wicked. Greed is all abound. Violence on a scale like we've never seen before. We have a major conflict going right now as I'm speaking where men, women, and children are dying from bombs, from airplanes, from artillery, from mortars, from small arm fire. Men, women, and children are dying at this very moment. We have children, men, women in Africa starving to death when so much could be done for them. And yet there's so much corruption on that continent that the, most of the food sometimes that gets there don't get to the people that need it. Don't get to those starving children whose bellies you see bloated. It ain't bloated due to the fact that their bellies are full. They're bloated because they're starving and that's a disease that they get where their stomachs swell. We have so much hatred amongst people. People hate one another for the color of their skin. They hate one another for the vote that they put in a booth when they go on election day. They hate people because of 
the type of work they might do. They hate because they don't think this way. They hate because they don't talk that way. They hate. As it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be with the coming of the second coming of the Son of Man. I believe that, ladies and gentlemen. I most definitely believe that we are absolutely living in the times of Noah and what he dealt with and all of the wicked and evil that was in that land, in that world at that time. It was so wicked that God destroyed this planet. We are at that moment. We are at that time in history. We are here. There is no, well, down the road we're going to get to that or another couple generations the way it's going we're going to be there no folks we're there we are there most definitely we are there I, I find it amazing how some people that know the Bible that have read the Bible uh, reject the signs that's around them it amazes me it really amazes me when I hear these people on the radio and they call in and say, oh, we're not living in the end times. That's just, that's just you know, people uh, uh, crying the world's ending, chicken little, the world is ending, the world is ending, the sky is falling. You know, uh, it, it, they don't know what they're talking about. Yet It's here. We're seeing these things happen. They just don't want to believe it. They don't want to open their eyes. We are most definitely living in the same time and days as it was in the days of Noah where men's hearts are wicked, where men's hearts are corrupt, where men's heart is evil. I do believe that. I very most definitely believe that. So, we need to stay diligent. We need to stay diligent because ladies and gentlemen, the Lord is coming back and do not think that it's that he's not do not think for one moment he's not coming back and I most definitely believe with all of my heart that it could be any moment now because so much has already been fulfilled and we most definitely are living in the days of Noah most definitely we can see it we can see the persecution of the Christians starting to come to the forefront. We can see the mockery of Christ all around us on TV and movies and, and every type of facet of daily life. They, they think it's a joke. Stay with the Lord, ladies and gentlemen. Don't walk away, especially now. Don't walk away. Stay close. Keep him in your heart. I love every one of you. Every one of you, my subscribers. I love every one of you. And I want to thank you for taking the time out in your day to watch my videos when you can. I appreciate it. It means so much to me. And most important, uh, I'm praying that we can grow this channel and more people can, you know, listen to me talk about jesus christ our lord and savior I, i'm not a bible scholar ladies and gentlemen i know you know i sometimes don't the words don't come out correctly um but my heart's in the right spot and, and that's what matters the most take care god bless hit the like button and subscribe button if you want and i will see you in the next video have a good rest of your weekend bye bye y'all